Hey guys, I said I will be taking uh, Q and A's in context with uh, health, fitness and, uh, and inspiration. So let's start with health in this video. And I don't want to do uh, longer videos because uh, you know it might, it might not serve the purpose. So let me keep it short. Let me take three questions every video for now and then we'll see where it goes. Yeah, the first question uh, is from Vinod. Uh, Vinod has asked me, how many times in a week should we train dogs? So Vinod's question is, how many times in a week do you train? First and foremost, you should know what your goal is and uh, what is your physical goal, basically. Uh, for a common man to stay fit and healthy, uh, I would say three to four times a week is good, good enough. But if you are a professional athlete or if you're a professional bodybuilder or if you're a lean muscle physique, uh, you know, aspiring uh, person, I mean, competitor, I mean, or if you're an athlete, then you have to train minimum six days a week. Uh, but I, my choice, I would say three to four times a week is good enough to, f to stay fit and, and strong. Number two, uh, uh, Shakti. Shakti, she has asked me, uh, Doc, what is your ideal routine like? Okay, what is my ideal training routine uh, like is what her question is. Uh, see Shakti, I prefer three days of strength training and uh, six days of yoga. Initially, it used to be like uh, six days of strength training and six days of yoga. But I've evolved myself, you know, I've got my uh, goals clear. For me, I have to be functional than looking good. For me, I have to feel good and I have to feel strong about myself and I should be able to do uh, my daily activities with, with, uh, with a lot of strength and ease. So this has worked well for me. And I've actually trained, if you ask me about training, I've been training for the last 22 years now. And uh, I've really experimented pretty much everything on me. To stay comfortable and uh, you know to really go I mean to, if you to really face the world uh, uh, with with your body and to be functionally active as a human being three days a week of weight training and uh, three days a week uh, of yoga you can alternate that that really works well for me is what I would say and uh, next question uh, Rahul Rahul has asked me Rahul, sir uh, are supplements important right I think I've already answered this question in the previous videos, but let me answer that again. Rahul, uh, again, it's based on your goal. You should be very clear about your goal. If you're like a, if you're training regularly and if you're eating, uh, you know, the right foods, uh, right balanced foods I is what I would say. Uh, if you're able to fill in all the macro and micro nutrient profile in your food, I think you don't need supplements unless you are really training vigorously. But on the whole, uh, if you go to the roots of it, the farming methods have changed over the last uh, 30 years. There is a depletion of nutrients in the soil. Uh, fert a lot of pesticides and fertilizers have been used. So in that context, yes, the, nutri nut the nutrient values, uh, value of foods have come down significantly. So keeping that in mind, yes, a basic multivitamin supplement is very good. You can take it, uh, be it a man or woman. And protein, I would say, I think real foods are enough. But if you're training very intensely and, uh, you know, for example, if you're training more than 90 minutes a day uh, and it's like uh, heavy or high intensity training, then probably you could go for a good uh, plant-based uh, protein. There's no harm in it. But again, no, don't overdo protein supplements because nothing can, uh, nothing can give you uh, the total nutritive value as real food. Always real food comes first. You can, that's why it is called a supplement, right? Yes, you can supplement it, but you can't keep that as a main thing. Yes, you can take supplements provided you are aware of your goal.